Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we are taking a look at a brand new knife that dropped today. It's available at three different locations, and it's a little guy, but it is a little banger. And what we have here is none other than the Devo Nip. Now, before I go any further into this review, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. Now, let's take a look at some overall specs on this knife right here. We have an overall length coming in at 5.5 inches with a blade length of 2.25 inches and a blade thickness at 110 thousandths. Blade material on this guy S90V, can we see it? There it is, S90V. All the edge retention, super, super slicey little guy with a modified sheep's foot blade, a very nice razor thin hollow grind, a handle length coming in at 3.25 inches and a handle material of carbon fiber. But if you're not a carbon fiber person, there is an all titanium version at White Mountain Knives. And then there is also a black titanium version at, I believe the website is Traditional Pocket Knives. Um, I'm not actually super familiar with that website, but I will have all the information linked below. And uh, there's something really nice for this particular version right here. Uh, but what we have is a liner lock locking mechanism, a user of a right or left hand tip up carry. Uh, weight coming in at a stupid light 2.1 ounces. Uh, designed by Kevin Collin at uh, Devo Knives, of course, and manufactured by Kubi. Kubi has, uh, I'll tell you what, Kubi dropped some heat with this. They really proved something to me in terms of what they're capable of from a premium standpoint. Um, a price coming in at $175 for this, which really, in all honesty, for S9DV, carbon fiber, uh, inset everything, titanium hardware, uh, all T8s, by the way, very, very important to note, all T8s. It's so nice taking this apart because I did take it apart. But again, $175 for all that, I don't have too much of an issue with at all. But it gets even better because if you order from the link below for this version, You'll get 10% off by using the code WSW10. So that obviously is going to knock it down $17.50. You do the math. It gets even better. So around that price point, I have no problem whatsoever for this knife. Uh, it's actually a hell of a little knife. It's, it's pretty stinking awesome. And uh, we'll do some size comparisons. And then I will continue to tell you guys just how stinking awesome and why this knife is so stinking awesome. But uh, let's compare it with some budget, little budget bangers first in terms of small knives. Some of my more favorite small knives in the budget realm. The uh, CGRB Mylia and the Civivi Baby Banter. Uh, the Baby Banter has probably surpassed the Mylea as my favorite mini budget knife. Um, but this guy here is not mini. But as you can see, lines up very well with both of these. So I think that'll tell a lot of people what they need to know. Uh, but we got to pull out a little more higher end stuff too because i got to put this knife around a little more if it's a certain type of knives. The Protec Runt, which is another awesome one, as well as the QSP Mini Penguin. Always a solid little knife. Uh, some similarities between the Mini Penguin, I will say. There's definitely, a, you know, but, but this is, I, I guess they're both kind of modified worn, uh, modified sheep's foot. Uh, but yeah, lines up very well with all of them, as you can see. Even a little bigger than the Runt, but uh, that's kind of what's expected from the Runt. Because it's a Runt, right? I mean, yeah, it's the Runt of the litter, but it'll still get you good. Still a nice blade on that Runt, but there is a nicer blade on this Devo Nib, I gotta say. We have an absolute little scalpel here, uh, 12 thousandths behind the edge, 12 thousandths. It's, it's insanely thin, insanely slicey, and the S90V will give you all that edge retention. Um, but an excellent little knife. I was talking to Kevin Collin at Blade Show West, and you know, for a small knife like this, while I do really love the Baby Banter, how it's got a little belly, I like that. Um, for, a, for a blade this small, it's really hard to beat kind of that modified sheep's foot or Warren Cliff style blade. Just that nice straight edge. It's so useful on a small knife. So um, it really is awesome in terms of just true versatility and functionality for a small blade. Because sometimes you can be limited. So you want to be able to use all that sharpened edge. And boy, oh boy, can you ever. And there won't be any belly to throw you off. Um, excellent, 
excellent little edge on this blade. And you know, there was something that was kind of eating away at me as I was uh, just kind of doing, going through my review process and, and just kind of looking at it. I was like, man, this reminds me of something. Uh, in a very good way, I just, I couldn't put my finger on what it was, and then it hit me. This, I get some Brian Brown Jaeger vibes from this. Uh, not massive vibes, but just some similarities that I love, like the, the cutout, um, the, yeah, pretty much just the cutout, and I guess the overall shape, you kind of have kind of the, the modified, modified sheep's foot slash Warncliffe style blade, um, the handle is a little different of a shape than the Jaeger, but again, when a knife gets compared to the Brian Brown Jaeger, you're talking greatness, and I mean absolute greatness. If you have handled a Jaeger, you know what I mean, uh, but this thing is so damn good. The, the middle finger flick is phenomenal because of that blade cutout, and then on the flipper here, you have some incredible jimping. Absolutely love. This is like perfect jimping. You guys know. You know how I uh, always uh, call out Civivi for their great jimping. Uh, this is just like Civivi, just done by Kubi. Just, it's perfect jimping. You can't Cannot botch the flip on this guy, which is fantastic. Uh, the handle is, we're talking in terms of ergos, I'm going to bring one more knife out here on the table to compare it with because there's another one from an ergonomic standpoint. It is right on par with, and it's this guy right here, the Spyderco Little Native. Um, and now the Little Native is definitely bigger, uh, not really by much, just a little longer. Um, and you have really really just about the same amount of sharpened edge too. But I always have ranted and raved about the Ergos on the Little Native, which are very nice. I mean, they're excellent. They're kind of like a mini shaman, but they're just as good. And I literally mean just as good on this nip because you have all the features on the small knife that the, the Little Native have. You have that curve in there to help lock it into your hand. You've got the choil as the one last little bit of secure, you know, grip so the knife isn't going to slip out of your hands. Um, and I obviously, I really prefer the carbon fiber over the, obviously I put the titanium on myself. It, that was a personal choice. Um, but I also like the pocket clip more on the nip. Um, the nip has just a milled pocket clip. And it's also very important to note here, the hardware you guys see, uh, the pivot collars that are just kind of raw titanium, as well as the clip in the backspacer. This was an additional purchase I made. This was, these can be added on. And uh, so it comes with an all black hardware set. So the knife would have had all black, which really looked really good. I mean, I had no issue with the way it looked, but I really nice like that kind of like, that pop, that uh, just very, the neutral pop of the blacks and the grays. I thought that was awesome. So, so I picked up the extra hardware set. Definitely don't regret it. Really love the backspacer on here too. Obviously, I'm, <laughs> I'm probably not ever going to put a lanyard on it. But for a small knife, there's, there's actually a possibility of it. Um, if there's ever a knife I'm going to put a lanyard on, it would probably be a small one to help extend the grip if ever needed. Not that I would need it though, because this is really, for my hands, this is a full four finger grip. Pretty securely, pretty nice. It feels excellent. Like it feels excellent for a four finger grip on a knife this small. The only other knife that rivals it really well, no, I would say the baby banter rivals it too, but the baby banter as well as the, um, the little native, but when it comes to just overall sliciness in aesthetics, the nip wins. I mean, look at this. This is just insanely good. Uh, nice texturing up here on the handle. When you can get texturing this good and this detailed on carbon fiber, that's, that's impressive. And you have it down here and up at the top. So you have all the, everything you need for a solid grip. Um, the clip is not deep carry, but to be honest, I don't care with the knife this small because it's probably going to go in my fifth pocket. So I don't mind seeing that much stick up. Like I really don't care. Um, and if I ever carried it as a primary carry, which you really could because this blade is so stinking useful. Um, you just still have a little sticking out. It's nothing. It's whatever. Um, the action. Now the action on this, as you see, I kind of have to shake it a little more to get it down. I purposely did that on this. For small knives, I like my pivot to be a little tight, especially when there is a blade cut out. Now this thing has a great, great detent on it. To just flick it, 
it's fantastic. Like it's a nice crisp detent. You get the good thwack, a nice click. Um, but for the middle finger flick, I've found that on smaller knives, I like to crank my pivot down just, just a little more, just a little to get that real satisfying, oh, that middle finger flick, guys. This thing, it is so fidgety. And the one nice thing about small knives is you can fidget with them in public and they're so small, people, are, they might still look at you, but they're like, eh, it's just a little guy. He ain't gonna do nothing. Um, it's nice to have a small knife to fidget with and this is so satisfying. So satisfying to middle finger flick. I was talking to Kevin Blade Show West about just, just what a perfect detent is. Because he knows, he knows. We're both kind of detent connoisseurs. And uh, this one is right up there. I wouldn't call it perfect, but for a knife this small, it's very hard to get that crisp, hard, perfect detent uh, for middle finger flicking that you look for. And then of course, if you have a flipper on it, you have to balance it with the flipper. So what I do to kind of just help balance it all out is, you know, like I said, tighten that pivot down a little, but I could not be happier with the action on this thing. It is so, so good. I don't mind having to shake it a little harder. When it came out of the box, like I said, I've already disassembled this to put the hardware on, but when it came out of the box, it was definitely a lot easier to just like a couple light shakes and it closed. When I put it back together, I did my little thing and tightened it down more, which is why you're seeing more of the shaking, but it's incredibly smooth. The flipping action is fantastic. The ergos are phenomenal for such a small knife. This is probably, at least in terms of all of the small knives I own, from a, from a price point of north of $100, this is the best one. And I think this might be the best one I've ever handled, to be completely honest. I've been thinking about it, because obviously I had it at Blade Show, so I've been kind of like getting my thoughts around for it for the past five days. And yeah, it's I really do think it is the best small premium knife I've ever handled. Um, it's just excellent. It is so good. And again, premium for, you know... $155, $158, um, that's great. S90V, carbon fiber, this is an automatic yes for me. It, it, it's an automatic hell yes, as a matter of fact. Uh, this thing is fantastic, guys. Um, I have a feeling these are going to go pretty quick. Uh, definitely the carbon fiber version. I'm not sure about the titanium versions on, on white knot knives and traditional pocket knives. I'm sure they'll probably go fast too because people love titanium. Uh, but man, this carbon fiber, carbon fiber version is super sweet. Let me know what you guys think of this design. Uh, Devo continues to up the ante in terms of just what they're bringing to the table. And this one is towards the top of what they've had so far, in my opinion. I love this little guy. And they got more coming. Pay attention to them. If you want to pick one of these guys up, click that link below. Uh, but the nip, if you're into small knives, I'm telling you, don't, don't sleep on this. It is one of the best ever, in my opinion. Uh, we went from having amazing big knives to amazing small knives. So let's see what's coming next. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.